Hey guys, Kathy here from Dirty Booty Soaps, and today we're in our new soaping space here in the great country of Canada. So I'm in my new room, which if you watched my little tour video, uh, you'll know I'm, I've got quite the little space going in here. I still need to fine tune it and clean things up a little, but for the most part I'm organized. Um, moving was quite the process, let me tell you, it was pure hell for about <laughs> the three days it took to get everything over here. But uh, we're here now, and the upstairs is pretty much settled. I just have to now um, finish painting, and then move in, uh, finish painting the hallway and the kitchen, and then move into the bedrooms and get those done, and then we'll be on to the basement area. Um, this room I think I'll be painting last because it's kind of like, it's not that important. Yes, it's my soap space and it will get done in a lilac color eventually. But um, until then, it's fine the way it is. Uh, so today I'm doing, uh, if you watched my soap room tour video, I showed you uh, this mold. It is a, a shot glass mold in silicone and it's in a heart shape and uh, it's just the cutest thing. So what I'm gonna do, um, scenting this in a crafter's choice pink, amber, and vanilla. Right, yeah. And we're coloring, I colored these little pink um, heart embeds. Uh, I colored those in crafter's choice plumberry pink mica, which is the same color I'm doing the cups. Uh, so this is a few, a couple steps of a process. I made my embeds this morning, no, yesterday morning. Uh, yesterday morning, today I'm doing the cup pour, uh, and then we'll be back uh, in a day or so to unmold these, and I'm gonna be filling them with uh, white soap. I'm gonna pipe white soap. So but when I unmold them, they'll kind of be looking like this. I'm gonna fill the insides with white piping it up over the top, uh, just like a cupcake kind of in the center in white. And then I'm gonna put those little heart embeds here, just a few here and there around the outside and dust it with some glitter. And they're gonna be really cute. And they're gonna go into a pink gift box, um, probably about the size of the lavender uh, chamomile ones. So I don't wanna pipe like too high. Uh, I have to bring a box down and when I get it unmolded just to see how high I can actually pipe. So, but anyway, we'll have a heart or two on the top of those. So, anyway, we're going to get started. Um, gonna was just waiting for my lye to cool off a little bit. And we'll get that mixed in here. I'm going to take this one out. Like I said, moving was such a nightmare uh, on the US side I should say where we live not not very many good movers I can tell you that much um, would never do it again but anyway here on the Canadian side the guys that unloaded our truck they were fantastic so kudos to them they were they were just the best and I uh, would definitely hire them again for sure Okay, so I got my gloves on. I've been dying to soap. It's been torture for a couple weeks now, not being able to make anything. So uh, I'm excited to get going. So let's see here. I have a, a uh, vinyl tablecloth now, since I'm, I'm not in my kitchen anymore, which uh, is nice because... Uh, any soap uh, that spills onto the vinyl tablecloth will just wipe up. I have my little garbage can right here beside me so I can wipe out my soap dishes as we're done. Stir that a bit. I'm gonna mix in my pink, I have some uh, that plumberry pink mixed in with some of my soaping oils here. Um, and then I have my fragrance 
as well. We'll hand stir that in and then hopefully this won't thicken up too quickly because I want to get a nice pour in each of these cups. So We'll get going here. I always need more paper towels. I'm not the neatest sofa. Anyway, we'll get started here. Blend this up on low. I have everything plugged into power strips here, so which is handy. <laughs> Love, 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 love my soap room. I had a lot of you commenting on how organized I was, but I don't really feel very organized. I, ha I still have some fine tuning to do, some more shelves to put up, and and uh, and such. So let's see. I'm gonna pour my color in. We'll scoop that out. Get every last drop. Like I said, this is going to be a gift soap. So you people that don't like the cupcake soaps or think they're stupid, you know, this, this isn't going to be for you. Uh, which there are plenty of you out there like that, I'm sure. Which is fine to each their own, right? But I do like doing these. I think they're fun. Give this a quick little zhuzh with the blender. It is a pretty pink. Like I said I don't want it to get too thick. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. So I'll clean this off and then I'm going to hand stir my fragrance in. I don't believe it's supposed to accelerate, but you never know, right? It's a new first time using it for me. So I, 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 I'm having a bit of a culture shock here with how nice everybody is. <laughs> I, where we used to live, um, it never happened, but uh, here so far, I had some lady come to pick up some uh, free bubble wrap that I had put on the, the town's Facebook page, and she brought me coffee. I was so thrilled. It was so nice. And then yesterday, one of our neighbors across the street came over, introduced herself, and brought us a nice cake. I was so thrilled. And 13, how many years was I at? 13, yeah, three from 18, 15 years in the other town. Not once did that ever happen. So, I just love it here. All right, so we're gonna pour in our fragrance and we'll just stir it by hand. Get it nice and mixed in. Anyway, it was really nice, and my my other neighbors that they puppy sit for us. They actually, um, she volunteered her husband <laughs> to help us go get one of our uh, last two loads. So he went down there with us, helped load the truck full again, which was just fantastic. And then our very last load, they both came over and helped us unload and yeah, move everything into the house in the garage. So. Just fantastic. I don't know what I'd do without them. That was that was wonderful. But the move, yeah, almost killed us. <laughs> it was, we're getting too old for this crap. <laughs> I just can't do it again. So this better be it. You know, unless we win the lottery and move to Hawaii, and then I'll be so rich that I can just hire people to do all my packing. So, <laughs> so anyway, this is staying nice so far and fluid. I think I'm going to start pouring here. Um, if I have more than what I need, hopefully I can do this neatly. I'm going to pour 
right over that heart. On each, I'm hoping I can get this done before it starts thickening. There's some things I'm still looking for. I took, you know what, it took me a week to find our shower curtain. We ended up going and buying one. And then last night, I found it. It was in the box right outside our bathroom. <laughs> what a goofball I am. I'm just going to give this another stir. Keep it going fluid here. Trying to be neat. Woo! A little much there. It's nice and cool down here in the basement for soaping, anyway. It's very hot and muggy here. We've got a lot of rain off and on moving through our pool pieces have been delivered so they're in a pile of boxes in the backyard like a whole pallet full of stuff we had our electrician here today running the power out to the backyard for the pump and the heater we're just putting it in above ground because we have a smallish backyard but my husband has to have his pool, don't you know? I'm hoping I have enough here that I calculated enough to, to fill all these. If I have extra, that's okay. What I did was I took one of the molds, I put it on my scale and uh, filled it with water to see how much one cavity would hold. And then I uh, times it by 24, of course, because I have 24 of these, and calculated my recipe. So now I'm just scraping down the bowl, hopefully get enough out of this to fill that last mold which I think I think I'll be okay top these off I just need to scrape it There's that one, and I am over on some of these other ones. But anyway, let me scrape my mold or my bowl down. Try and get the last drops out of it. I'm sorry if you can't see, but I had to switch hands. Boy, this is like just perfect. And Clean this up a bit. Um, this one's a little much. Let me see. I think that's good. And I can't wait to unmold these doesn't look very pink in the pink pink mold but here in the bowl it still looked really pink so we'll see we will see how it looks when they're unmolded and then filled with white and topped with beautiful glitter I can't wait uh, we'll put this in here Now, I can't really bang these down, but I can give them a little shimmy. Like so. And 
just give that a little because I want it to be somewhat flat on the bottom. So hopefully those will be okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this out. Um, I have a wash sink downstairs here now, so right around the corner. So what I'm going to do is just let my dishes sit um, until morning and then I'll wash them out. So I'm just kind of taking the remnants of my scraped out bowl and kind of cleaning it out with the paper towels. Let me get one more. And uh, like I said, we'll just let it sit until tomorrow and I'll fill the sink with uh, dish soap. Dawn is what I use to clean my dishes. Anyway, because Dawn fights grease, right? So very works very well uh, on these. Don't want to clog up my my home uh, plumbing. So that's pretty good. Those are pretty clean. Um, just put the fragrance jar. And we'll let those sit. And uh, tomorrow I'll clean those out. And we'll be ready to go on with our piping when we unmold the heart soaps. So see what we got going on here. My little thermometer. I take my goggles off. My lye. I'll rinse that out in the sink because that won't hurt anything. So we're going to just let these sit here. Another reason I love my table in my soaping room is because I don't need to move things. Um, if you remember in my, my kitchen I worked on the countertop and uh, I'd always have to have a board under my soaps. Um, under my molds rather so that I could move them off so I could use my counter but uh, I don't have to do that anymore I can just let them sit here and uh, do their thing for 24 hours until they're ready to be unmolded um, the dogs are doing great they're loving their new house now they were a little discombobbled at first um, especially the first night that was a nightmare but anyway we, we had to drag a queen size mattress down the stairs into the rec room to sleep on and that was just, uh, that was horrible. That thing was so big, so heavy, didn't have handles and it was a nightmare. But anyway, and then the dogs had to sleep outside the rec room in their pen and they weren't happy and ugh. The joys of moving, huh? Never again, never again. Oops. So, anyway, we'll be back to, uh, unmold these and then we'll get to doing the piping and the fun decorating and all that jazz so until we meet again in about two seconds <laughs> uh, we'll be back and pop these suckers out of the mold okay guys we're back and I have popped these out of the mold uh, very carefully. One of them, one of them, I damaged on the bottom a little bit, but was able to piece it back together. Um, you just have to be really careful when you're pushing these out of the mold. Um, you're kind of, you know, f forcing it out, pressing against the bottom. So just be really, really careful. Um, otherwise, uh, they slipped right off after that. Uh, so what I've got here is. Um, my base, I'm just going to add a little titanium dioxide. I'm not fragrancing this as I get a lot of fragrance off the soap itself. So I'm just going for a plain white piping. And uh, that, that slightly damaged one, actually I'm going to give to my mother. Um, <laughs> no offense, Mom, but anyway, there, that's that one. 
So she'll end up getting that when we go visit her. I'm going to go visit her in September. So very excited. So what I'm going to do here is my lie. And instead of having it sit right on the tablecloth, even though it's vinyl, I always I just set it inside of a, a silicone mold just to uh, give it a little bit of a barrier um, from the heat. So we'll pour that in. It's a very tiny batch and I'm hoping it'll be enough. I don't want to pipe these too high and I'll show you why. Um, this is the box they're going to go into. It's a cute little, uh, just like my uh, lavender one, uh, just this one's in pink. And as I hold the soap up, you can kind of see how much room I have left to pipe. Now I can raise these lids a bit to set on the top, but I don't want to squish the soaps. So I'm going to try not to go up too high on them. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Like I said, so I, I shrunk my batch down. It's a very small batch. Um, I've got a little bit of titanium dioxide in here, which I'll put in once we get to the light trace. I'll add that in. And uh, so we'll mix this up. I always get nervous with small batches, but like if it's going to splash up at me. So I kind of keep my hand over it a little bit. So we'll pour that in. I'm actually going to scrape out what I can out of there. And it's just used a little of my soaping oils to mix in that titanium dioxide. Oops. So I'll set that there. Oops. There. Um, wipe that off. I get a little dribble. So I have gone on and registered my business in Canada. I've uh, submitted my ingredients list to the government as well. I have my basically what's called a social insurance number. It's like our social security number. So I got all that done today. I'm very proud. I got quite a bit accomplished. Just trying to bring this up to pretty thick so I don't have to wait quite as long to pipe. I'm actually, I think I'm going to put you guys on pause until I get it to piping consistency so you don't have to sit there and watch me uh, blend all this. So I'll continue until we're ready to pipe and I'll bring you back. Okay, I think we're ready to pipe. I didn't, I'm not letting it get like super duper thick on me. Um, just because I know I can pipe it in the way I want it in this consistency. So uh, what I'm going to do, I already spritzed these a little bit on the inside with alcohol. Uh, so I'm going to put some of this in, remembering that my bags are small, so I don't want to overload my bag. that so it doesn't drip off here. So I'll have to refill this bag a few times. But anyway, we're just going to go down to the bottom and start filling. And just a dollop on the top. So like I said, I don't want to go over too much. Because they want to fit in these gift boxes nicely. Get that little dollop on the top. Oop. 
try not to make too much of a mess. Oops, I have to clean that one up. Okay, I'll bring this back. Wipe that up off the edge. I always get quiet when I'm doing my piping. Just because I want to be careful as I bump my soap and uh, not make too much of a mess. I'm just trying to open up my piping bag here a bit. So you can tell it's thickening now more. Finish this one up. They're so cute. I have the right amount here. Try and get this one out. Ah, we shall see, we shall see. But I bumped this off again. such a creamy white soap. It's just beautiful with no color and fragrance. It's really, really pretty. I was playing with it while it was thickening. It's just like, oh, I just love the texture. This is so relaxing doing these fun little soaps. And uh, yeah, I really needed some, some relaxing after this hectic week of moving. They smell really pretty. It's um, kind of a perfumey fragrance, this pink, amber, and vanilla. It uh, almost reminds me of, um, I think it's called Extremely Sexy for Women. Um, it's, I think that was a Nature's Garden one. Um, but anyway, that's what it reminds me of. rest of this one in here and we'll fill it up one more time with the remainder I think and we should be good hoping I think I calculated fairly good oh come back come back things get a little slippery towards the end here it's always good to have some paper towels on hand. So, trying to scrape my bowl out here as we go. Get in there. much left in there. We'll see how we do here. I've only got six and a partial one to fill here, so I'm hoping. Here. 
see what I'm doing. I think we did pretty good here. I think we've got just the right amount here. Uh, so now I am going to give these a little dusting of glitter and then put our little hearts on the top. So I've got my iridescent super sparkle glitter here and naturally it's going to go all over so it's hitting the rim of the cup and the white I have to initiate my soaping space with glitter don't you know Finish the rest of them out. Whoops. I'm so, so not a tidy soaper. Um, I also wanted to mention I don't have the grab bags on Etsy right now. What I do have, and it's a great deal if you go look, there's a mystery, a five product mystery box. Um, and what that is, is I'm combining five different listings of my choice in one box. So you're not going to know what you get other than the fact that it's five different products that are all listed on my Etsy page. So, uh, and what I mean by that is like, you'll get five different things. Uh, it could be a box gift soap or two and some bar soaps. Let's say the listing is for a two bar listing. That counts as one of the five products you'll get in your mystery box. So you'll get the two bars, and then if there's another two bar listing, you'll get that. If it's a three bar coconut oil soap, that counts as a listing. Um, any of the bath bombs or my raspberry razzle dazzles, I mean, each listing is one of the items you would get out of the five items in your in your mystery box so those are $35 uh, shipping is included in that in uh, the US and I believe I added $10 possibly uh, for shipping to Canada um, if you're local you can pick it up of course for no charge but uh, so that's a great deal right now on, on Etsy um, I will link you to that in the box below the video um, but I just wanted to let you know about that. Um, these are going to be listed um, as a pre-order. So they will ship in one month. So look for these to be shipping at around the third week, fourth week of August, somewhere in there. So I'm going to take my goggles off because I don't need those anymore. And I'm going to take my gloves off just because my hands are sweating. <laughs> so I think I piped these just enough to fit nicely into those boxes and now I'm just going to top them with a little heart on the top right in the center and they're just the little delicate my mom is really going to love this because she's a pink girl she loves pink and I just wanted to have something nice for her to sit, like, maybe by her bedside table. She's in a retirement home now, so she doesn't have a lot of room in the bathroom for things. But I said, well, you could put one, like, right beside your, your right on top of your nightstand. And she's like, that's a great idea. So I'm going to take her a little pretty something here, which I think she'll love. She called me yesterday afternoon, and she's like, 
I just had my massage and the gal said they will do massages for family members. She goes, so I'm going to treat you to a massage when you come to visit. And I'm like, hey, I am all over that. Because <laughs> right now my body is screaming from this move. I'm just hoping I can hold out until next month. Or actually September when we go. So anyway, that was nice of her. I think she's really excited, so. And I'm excited to see her. It's been two years, so. It will be a nice treat. So these are looking really cute. I'm thinking this might be another uh, soap we can do for Valentine's Day. And instead of maybe pink, do red hearts. Um, I might change up the uh, cup color next time. Maybe do something in a cranberry or a raspberry mica, maybe. Excuse me. As opposed to this pink. Even though it's a cute pink, it's more kind of a salmon pink than what I wanted. So there we go. I have this little mold sitting out. In case I had leftover piping, I would get some samples out of it, but I don't have anything left over, which I guess is a good thing. So anyway, here we go. I'll bring this around to you Oops. and uh, show you a couple of these cuties close up. They turned out great. I just love them. Aren't they cute? If you're not into this kind of thing, as far as soaps, I'm sorry, but I just love it. It's like therapy to me. So there we go. Look for these on Etsy as a pre-order, like I said, around the end of August. And uh, until then, check out our other listings. There's some great product out there. So cute. They're just so cute. And I love the way they turned out. So, like I said, these will be a pre-order, and they're going in this adorable little pink box. Probably nestled in some pink um, tissue paper. So, perfect for gift giving. Oh, and I wanted to let you know, I had some issues with uh, the post office mistreating some of my packages, um, specifically these kind. Um, I had them in the padded envelopes, and the post office decided to mangle several of these. So I gave customers credit. One lady I gave extra boxes to. Um, but I've solved that issue. I'm now mailing all gift items in the hard boxes, the priority mail boxes instead of bags. So that will take care of that problem. They're going to be very well packed. So anyway, check out our Etsy shop and follow us on Facebook over at Dirty Booty Soaps. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until then, have a great day. Bye for now.